Hi and welcome to this channel. My name is Max and in this video I'm going to be talking about eye tracking supported by AI. And this video is sponsored by Attention Insight. It's a great company which has a great product which I'll be talking about in a bit. But before that let's talk about how AI works in the field of UX because most of the times when we think of artificial intelligence there can be this weird feeling of it being the technology that's gonna steal our jobs but actually it's the other way around currently and AI is really helping us already and making our jobs easier, more efficient and us eventually more effective as user experience designers or user researchers. But what really is eye tracking? So eye tracking is a technology that you can use to track the eye movement of someone. This can be really helpful, for example, in user research where you want to find out where people look on your website, for example, or on a poster or any other medium, really. You would invite them to a laboratory or you would have your own devices and you could set them up. There are different technologies available to track the eye movement and you would provide them with a medium and then you could measure the eye movement and you would add up probably with a heat map that suggests on which positions of your medium the people looked most of the time right so this helps you really to sort your hierarchies to get your call to action straight and to find out why people for example are not clicking on your button so it's a good method if you want to answer certain questions but there are also some downsides to it it's very time consuming and it's very expensive so you need the actual hardware which is really expensive or you need to rent a lab or people who have the hardware and you need to set up all these things and as with any other research activity really you need participants of course who also need to spend their time who also need to be paid and this is all connected to a lot of effort so the question really was how can this problem be solved how can everything be made a bit easier for us as professionals to leverage the power of eye tracking without all the hassle all the money all the time and this is where attention insight came up with this great idea so they are a startup based in europe and they want to democratize eye tracking by removing all the overhead, all the technological equipment and all the people that you have to invite by connecting the power of eye tracking with artificial intelligence. So the ultimate goal really is to get eye tracking results instantaneously without having to test your files with actual humans because there's an artificial intelligence behind that learned from actual eye tracking sessions which were conducted at the MIT and different labs around the world. So all done by research professionals and trained with a mass of images and results and input. So AI really with this kind of black box approach where you're not really sure what's happening inside proved to be working really, really well they actually provided comparisons between their results and human eye tracking results and they claim to be 90 to 94 percent accurate which is a really great thing and even if it's just to give you an idea in an early stage of your design of, or your concept work it's super reliable for it being AI powered and it provides you with the same information that any eye tracking lab would give you. So let's take a look at how this really works. All right, so the really cool thing about Attention Insight is that they provide integrations for your favorite design tools. So be it Figma, Adobe XD, Sketch, whatever, you can use it directly in your design tool. And I picked this uh, website, this landing page that I created a while ago. And what you can do is select the frame, go to your plugins, and search for attention inside click on run and then click on analyze design then you will have to wait for a few seconds i'm going to speed this up all right we're almost there and here you go you have your heat map 
in Figma, you can actually add it to the frame and you can click on get more insights. And what you can really see here is where the AI predicts people will look. And as it's a heat map, you know, the reddish area means that people look here more while the greener areas they look more rarely and the other parts are almost invisible to them so what we can do is go over to the platform actually where you will have the exact same thing that you just uploaded and you can change the way of um, data presentation here so instead of the attention heat map which you can toggle here you can also show the focus map which is really interesting because this is sort of what the user actually sees if you imagine the tunnel vision of someone then you can actually see that everything that's behind the black color here is literally invisible for the users and this provides you information in the context of everything else which is of course there but chances are people are not gonna look at it another very interesting thing is the percentage of attention and for that you can actually draw boxes around different sections that you want to get more information about so let's call this a heading and click on calculate uh, attention and then you will see a percentage here now if we add for example this as a call to action primary CTA calculate attention and maybe this as an image you will see the different attention percentages which is also very interesting this tells you the share of the attention span if you want to say so above the fold so you can define boxes above the fold and it will tell you how much share of the attention span these elements have. So it's also very interesting. It gives you clarity insights, which give you an indication of how well your medium performs in comparison to everything that the AI already knows. And it uh, will tell you if it's very cluttered or if it's very clean, right? What you can also do is export a report. Just by clicking here on report, you can select either a PDF or a PowerPoint file. And we will also do that and see how this will look like. All right, so and it's already done. You can click here and it gives you this presentation with insights about your project and sums it up nicely. Also gives you more information about the clarity score. So in this case, we're right where we should be between 60 and 95 percent and it provides you information about the attention where does it go and above the fold it gives you more information about that and I wanted to show you something else on the platform which are comparisons you can compare two mediums with each other so for example if you're creating visuals or posters or whatever or websites even you can really see which performs better or where's the difference and I tried that out using two of my thumbnails and this is really interesting actually to see how they perform how the ai interprets things and where they see more clarity more information or just a better performance visually it's an ai it doesn't rate your designs it just provides you what it thinks where people would look in an eye tracking scenario and here again you have the same options for the attention heat map you can activate the percentages of attention the focus map and all that neat stuff and they're working on more i've been told that there's gonna be an option to test videos and benchmarks are another big feature that they are planning to launch soon all right so that's it for this video i wanted to give you an introduction into the software by attention inside the AI powered eye tracking technology with integrations for your design tool with a platform where you can upload your own files and get your results in real time and I hope you got an understanding for that I hope I made you curious somehow now if you want to try out the software on your own there's a coupon code in the description below and you can use it for one month of free usage of attention inside so definitely you should go over and try it out right now. I hope to see you soon in another video. Take care and goodbye.